What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, talking about Sen Racing and the pre-orders that we're doing. Also, we're doing a promo code. So if you use the promo code SEN, S-E-N, at checkout, it's going to save you 5%. Anybody that already ordered, we're going to go ahead and refund you guys. So look for that here in the next day or two. But in the meantime, let's get on to these trucks. Now, I will say something else too. I was going through Facebook. I don't go through Facebook a lot. But I was looking through it and I, I noticed I was, you know, I get, I'm, I liked Sin Racing anyhow. It's been on there for a little bit. And uh, I noticed that they talked about my website. And I was like, what the heck's going on here? And I was like, so anyway, I'm going to jump over to uh, Sin Racing, their homepage. And they talk about it. They just did this yesterday. And it said, hey, for all the U.S. customers, OMG RC started taking orders on the new Sin Monster Trucks. I was like, dope, dude. I can't believe you got, that was Really? That's awesome. Yeah, I was. I even showed my wife. I was like, "Oh my gosh, look at this!" Like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, I didn't ask them. This is cool, man. Like, big shout out to Send Racing for doing that. Um, I'm not the only one that's taking pre-orders. I know, and uh, definitely appreciate that. Honored, blessed that they did that. So I got some. Already got some orders from them doing that. Anyhow, so. I had some orders prior to that, but that helps me out as well. You know, nice to know that other companies are, you know, supporting the OMGRC, just like you guys are on the YouTube channel and going over to our website at omgrc.com. But, uh, yeah, definitely was really blown away by that, and I definitely appreciate that. Much respect to them. Now, getting on to these awesome trucks that are here anyhow, I'm not getting a free truck out of this, guy, so, you know, just kind of let you guys know. I got to pay for it myself. Now I am a dealer, so I obviously get a discount. But nonetheless, I got to pay still for these vehicles. It would be cool sometimes, you know, I get a little bit of hookup when it came to it. Just like I'm sure some of you guys that got these YouTube channels or whatever would be cool to get, you know, you know, a little bit of something, you know, every so often. Just It does feel good, but, I, you know, that day will come, I'm sure. But anyway, until then, I love the RC community and, uh, Love, you know, just running my RC car anyhow, so it's all good. Anyway, getting on to these trucks in general, speaking of it in general, if you guys are new to the hobby and uh, you want to get one of these, maybe this caught your attention. You're like, oh, that thing looks cool. Okay, I was kind of wasn't sure about it, but I definitely am digging these trucks or any other RC car in general. You want to go ahead and hit us up. You know, you can always give us a call. If you have questions about a certain car that you're going to purchase from omgrc.com and you're like, what else do I kind of need for this? We'll try to, we'll do our best when it comes to, there's certain things that are, for the most part, we can, we'll figure it out. You know, not a big deal, especially if it's something new. Uh, it, it usually will say that, hey, you're going to need this, 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 this. It needs requirements. Now, if you're looking to do any modifications to your vehicles, that's where, uh, you know, we don't know everything when it comes to the RC, uh, all these RC cars that are out there. Sometimes we'll just check on some forums, you know, anyhow, maybe they're old, maybe they're new, or maybe they just don't exist yet because someone else hasn't done it or posted anything. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. But for this vehicle in general, what I'm talking about is that what you're going to need is you're going to need a battery, you're going to need a charger, and you're going to need uh, some AA batteries for your actual remote control, your radio itself to make this all happen. So you're going to be like, well, what do I need anyhow? What out of these vehicles, you know, what are we looking at? So this is, you know, this is a 112th vehicle, I, a 112th scale. So if you guys, between the two, just kind of let you guys know, the lower the number, the bigger the vehicle. Keep it simple like that. Lower the number, bigger. So uh, anyway, when it comes to like these 110th scale, they're going to need uh, all three of these here can take, a 2s lipo and maybe some of you guys are not sure exactly what a lipo is what a nickel metal hydride battery is in general you just know you need a battery right i'll put a link in the description as far as for the batteries for these uh 110 scale vehicles and i think this uh, 112 scale vehicle will work as well there's measurements anyhow so you'll know what size battery you can use but um lipo battery is going to be my my go-to battery for anybody I'm recommending and also a charger that can handle two charge two batteries at the same time. It's just a win when it comes to if you want to expand and you want to get more uh, more vehicles or you just want that one vehicle and maybe you're thinking, well, I like to get another battery so maybe you know run it and then run you know have another battery and then I can run it again. 
But keep in mind, you want to cool down between cycles anyhow. So you want to say, okay, yeah, you can run that one for you know that time, let it cool down, then you got another battery already ready to go, and let it run. Or you got a buddy, and uh, they come over, and you're like, hey man, I got I got a, you know another I got a charger that can handle two batteries at the same time. So that's cool. And they bring their battery over, and uh, you can charge it up at the same time you got yours charging. So. I think it's cool. I, I definitely like that. I do not rec- really recommend a single charger battery, especially if you're getting into the hobby. You're going to probably want to get another battery anyhow. So it's definitely good to have something that can handle two batteries at the same time. But uh, to each their own, but that's my personal recommendation. So take it as what you want. Now, uh, for me, because I have a lot of vehicles and what have you, I'm always, you know, I got a four port. So, you know, that's if you're into the hobby more, and yeah, four port. Four port charger, definitely something you want, and maybe some of you guys probably have a couple of chargers anyhow. But uh, these vehicles, as far as you know, you know what what do I like? There's gonna be some upgrades that are coming out. And um, speaking of coming out, when are these things coming out, right? Because that's probably another thing I kind of didn't forget about. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, these things are gonna be coming out sometime in July, as far as early July, mid July, late July. I don't know, sometime in July. That's what I was told by our distributor, HRP. Ensign Racing is saying the same exact thing. They're saying June, late June, July. I will say play it safe, July. So that's that on that part of it. Um, yeah. Now, get as far as these vehicles go too, uh, you can check all the specs out. You know, When it comes to these, this kind of nice that these things have aluminum cap shocks, there are some adjustabilities that are made as far as their linkages. You can adjust them and everything like that. Um, their transmission seems to be easy to get to. It seems like you can adjust it to, uh, you know, up your basic the gearing in it. it seems that way. Um, so that's kind of nice on that part of it. I do like the way I saw them, you know, driving these RC vehicles, and it seems like they're pretty stable, meaning that they're not like just kind of bouncing and falling over. So it seems like they take a jump. They take the jump pretty well. It seems the way they have the shock set up. It's kind of absorbing, absorbing those uh, jumps and not throwing the truck into just wanting to fall over or being uncontrollable. So I like the way it looks so far. It's looking good. I've seen quite a few other YouTubers that have them or even on Send Racing, they have them and they look good so far. Now, if I were to get one of these three vehicles, which one would I pick personally? Just based off of just looking at them. And it's really kind of, not 100% sure. Now, I'm not a big 1 12th scale kind of person, so I want to really go with a bigger RC vehicle. So I'm not going to go with the 12th scale, in my opinion. I'm going to go with uh, one of the two uh, vehicles here. Now, first one that kind of draws my attention is this orange one. Now, I got a Gen 8 Red Cat, and it kind of has that same kind of theme with the orange and the black. And I like that. It looks cool. I do like the graphics on the Hyperlube. And uh, if you maybe some of you guys are like, what the heck's a Hyperlube? It is a manufacturer that does have synthetic. It's like an alternative, whatever you mix it into your engine oil. So kind of keeps everything. Anyway, that's just a, a company. So if it's not a generic anything. These, this is a licensed vehicle. It's licensed. This is a real product. Anyhow, Hyperlube. And then so is this one. It's a real monster truck. So these are licensed vehicles. It's really cool. So all three of them are licensed vehicles. So I definitely dig it. Now, I think, I could be wrong. You guys can let me know. Anyhow, I I thought I saw it somewhere, just kind of skimming over everything, is that it has LEDs already on this vehicle. Now, at least the light bucket. So, But speaking of light buckets, I figured if I was jumping or anything like that, that uh, these might break off. So I'm not sure how strong these are. I did see some vehicles or some videos of it running, and I didn't see anybody breaking these things as of yet. I did see one break like a... the axle or something like that but i didn't really check into the video so i'm not sure what he did to break that but uh you know it's plastic and speaking of plastic they're going to be having aluminum upgrades coming out now as to when i don't exactly know when but they do have aluminum twin dual twin plates what have you this that's the chassis so i did see that part of it again i just don't know when they're going to have them out and how much they're going to cost and if we're going to have them available and when so Anyway, it is nice to know that, hey, they're already doing upgrades for these vehicles. So, you know, people that are more serious, they want to race these things or want to be a little bit harder on these vehicles. Those upgrades will be coming shortly. So you don't have to wait like a whole year, hopefully, for, you know, some upgrades. 
So it should be pretty cool. Definitely digging it. Um, I did have the, the Sin Colossus before. It had a lot of power in it. Yeah, it was... Uh, I never really got to go full throttle on it. It just was... It was a lot of power. So I dig what they have anyhow. And I was happy with the Sin Colossus. So I couldn't imagine this thing not being any anything less. To be honest with you. I think it's a really cool vehicle. I do like the aluminum cap shocks. I do like... You know, it's got, you know, eight shocks on it. It's quite a bit. They're all oil filled. It's got a brushed motor. It's got a 40 amp electronic speed controller. And it's not super crazy as far as that part goes, but you can make it faster. Uh, I don't know how strong all the gears are going to be. So those are going to be other things that will be a concern. But as time progresses, things will be addressed and uh, upgrades will be out. You make these things even more stronger. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Anyway, uh, before I go... If you are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. But also, check out OMGRC. Sign up for our newsletter because I'm not going to be doing a lot of these promotion codes for you guys on the YouTube channel. I want to go ahead and make sure people are you know, heading over to the website, the OMGRC.com website, signing up for our newsletter, and then you can get those deals. Because I can't always give deals. I don't want to get in trouble for doing any kind of deals on YouTube. Someone sees something. Someone says something. So, um yeah, you just definitely want to go over there. It's gonna, it's legit. So it's, I don't send a lot of uh, emails out anyhow. But anyway, until next time, I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I'll catch you on the next video. Guys, take care. Thank you for watching.